And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone and thanks for watching us on your favorite streaming device. Now the big story through the rest of the day is going to be mostly the mountain shower and thunderstorm threat, but we're still watching the potential for some of these storms to reach the I-25 quarter. And I think the timing is pretty much from now through about 9, 10 o'clock this evening. Don't really think we're going to see a lot of severe storms. It's still an isolated chance with large hail, one of the threats, and also wind gusts if those storms develop to around 60 miles per hour. So today it's really been a tale of two different cities or two different air masses, if you will, with that analogy. East, it's been very sunny, no rainfall at all today across the eastern plains. But west, the mountain area is getting hammered from slow moving storms. You've seen some flooding in some areas, including here in our own backyard, Custer County, still under a flash flood warning. Even though the rain has dropped south, a lot of rain fell in a short amount of time around West Cliff. Custer County Emergency Management did report flooding in that area as well as across parts of the Wet Mountain Valley. If the rain doesn't move back in, that might expire early, but for now, just be advised there could be some flooding out there in low lying areas. Most of the heavier rain associated with that shield now well to the south. Look at the conditions here from the Sangres down into the San Luis Valley, just east of Alamosa, but right near Blanca and San Luis, seeing some heavy rain. La Vida, the rain mostly to the west of you, areas to the east staying dry for the time being. We're also watching a developing cluster of storms coming into the Denver metro area, trying to drop south. Not not doing it very quickly, but we finally have some rain now. Castle Pines to around the Toma exit on I-25. I think this continues to drop south, weakening as it does so, but look for some rain to move into Monument a little bit later this evening, potentially into the springs if it could just hold together long enough. And we'll take the moisture because today's been relatively dry. No rain in the gauges at the Springs or Pueblo Airport. Today's temperature is pretty similar to what we saw yesterday in both areas. It's 81 degrees right now in the Springs. You can see some clouds off in the distance but we are dry in town. Also seeing some dry conditions outside in Pueblo. And again, for the evening, maybe between 7 and 9, a few isolated storms in the springs in Pueblo. I think by 11, the rain is gone. If we even see it at all, and then as we head into Tuesday morning, starting out a little different than what we saw through the holiday weekend. Remember the bright blue skies we saw Saturday, Sunday, even today? Well, tomorrow looks to be partly to mostly cloudy early as a cold front sweeps into the region. This is going to bring in some changes. I mentioned that going into the commercial break. Cooler temperatures, you'll feel that. And you'll notice a lot more widespread coverage of the showers and storms starting in the mountains but they will move east and where they move east, they'll move into a more favorable environment capable of widespread heavier rain and also the potential for some uh, so some of those storms to turn strong to severe, mainly across the southeast plains. That's where we'll be watching the biggest potential. All right, lows tonight down to the 50s Woodland Park to Monument. Tomorrow's highs down about 5 to 10 degrees from what we saw today, so no longer 90s in those hotter spots. Instead, we'll see some upper 70s and mid 80s around the springs in Pueblo Canyon City in the lower 80s for the day on Tuesday. We then warm back up as we head towards Wednesday, getting hot by Thursday and Friday. For Pueblo, 80s here with some cooler air Tuesday to Wednesday, but could be up near triple digit territory by Friday. Canyon City, 80s through Wednesday, 90s through Friday, and then back down by the weekend. And for Woodland Park, temps here in the upper 60s on Tuesday with more widespread rain showers and thunderstorms. A weak chance Wednesday, drying out by Thursday. We're